today I'm in historic downtown Abbotsford at Bowen Stern Restaurant and we are going to meet with Dean Simpson with Simpson Notaries and talk about conveyancing and what that means when buying and selling a house. For meeting with me today at Bowen Stern in Abbotsford to discuss conveyancing. I know you are a notary with Simpson Notaries, so I guess how I wanted to start is asking what is a notary and what do you do in terms of buying and selling? Some people think they can do it themselves and say, well, I'll just pay. I, I know the person I'm buying the house from, I'll just pay them for it and then they'll transfer it over to me. Right. And that doesn't work because you want to pay them and then what? Wait for the title? Or someone's going to give you the ownership of the house and then trust you to pay them? So we're the person in the middle. Yeah. that collects all the money, holds it in trust, guarantees the land can be transferred into the name of the buyer, yeah. then register at the land registry on a completion date. Yeah. That process is about an hour. Okay. So I'm holding all the money. I have all the paperwork in place to switch the ownership. We then transfer the ownership. One hour later, I search title again to guarantee it's gone through the way it's supposed to because it's possible for a seller to have remortgaged it in between, to have sold it to two people in one day. So we check that guarantee. Yeah. So that's what we have lots of insurance to make sure that's not going to happen. Yeah. And so one hour later, when I search title again and I see it's still clean, I can rely on that. The, the land title office is government assured. Okay. So if there is a fraud involved and someone did manage to slip something through, no one's going to the seller or the buyer is not going to lose out. Right. And our job in the middle is to make sure that transaction goes around smoothly. Absolutely. So once I'm guaranteed it's in the buyer's name. About an hour, an hour and a half after that, we then transfer money over to the seller, or the, the seller's bank account, or to his notary public, okay. who's separately represented. So, really, an extremely important step when you're buying. A yeah, house. you can't do like, it, you can't do it yourself because no. it's, we, we, someone in the middle has to have control of both the sale, the, the house, and the money. Yeah. And our job is to do the switch. Yeah. We we'll guarantee that's through. And people get paid. Okay, awesome. And what kind of costs are associated for a, a buyer or a seller in, in this? To, to buy a house with a mortgage, you're probably looking at a little over a thousand dollars with cost, maybe twelve hundred. Okay, so, so really, in percentage wise, quite a small percentage to ensure that you actually are getting the house yeah, that you're paying. Yeah, percentage for. wise, is very small. Yeah. And and as houses go up in value, if we're doing two two million dollar, three million dollar houses, the fees will rise slightly. Okay. But it's. The fees are generally under two thousand dollars to do a conveyance. Okay. But they're always under two thousand. Yeah. But maybe half of that even. And okay. and the sale you, you're paying to be represented and to discharge the mortgages you have on title. So if you have more than one mortgage, you're gonna be paying higher fees as a seller. Okay. But generally sellers fees are about half of that of a buyer's fees. Okay. The buyer is responsible to pay for the notary cost of preparing all documentation and searching the title. Yes. The seller is just paid to be represented and to clear the mortgages off. Okay, perfect. That clears it up. Does that make sure. sense? Yeah, that's absolutely perfect. Okay. Yeah, thank Good. you.